today I'm going to share with you a app that's going to save you hours, especially if you have one or more computers and you usually go and search for the app that you want and then download and go through that whole installation process, which is really boring. That's over. If you look at my screen, I've got an app right over here, which if I click with one button, I will have 218 apps ready to install. Now, I don't need the 218, but there are about 10 or 20 that I do install on all my computers, and this is going to save me a lot of time. Besides that, it will detect all the apps that I do have on my system, these or others, and it will give me the latest version available. So if it sounds interesting, Let's go and take a closer look at it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. So this is a free app and it's called Patch My PC. You just need to go to patchmypc.com and then you will have the download home updater shortcuts and then just need to press the this button right over here. It's version 4.5.0.4 at this moment when you watch this video if it's a later version then probably there will be a few changes but i believe that nothing major now once we download and i've got it right over here on my downloads folder which this is the second one so let's delete and uh, we have two files right over here so i'm going to close my patch my pc and i'm going to delete this file right over here, which is the configuration file. One of the suggestions that I would make is if you are going to use Patch My PC, this is a portable app, so it will not be installed on our computer. It will remain on the folder that we let it be. Now, if I start Patch My PC, I just double click. It will ask my administrator permission. I will say yes, and it will start the app. Now, one thing that we can see right over here is that it will create a configuration file and this file will be on the root of the folder that we decide. So if I want to use this app on my USB pen drive, I just need to create a folder, for example, so that I have the two files together so that if I want to copy to another computer or anywhere else, I don't forget to take my configurations with me. Now, configurations might be imported only if we change a few things here on the options and on the scheduler because because I can do this manually just by selecting this app, for example, and install it, or I can let it do everything automatically on the background and we can schedule everything. And now let's take a look on how it works. When we open the app, it will show us the outdated apps and the updated apps. And if there's a newer version, it will suggest that version. So for example, at this moment, if I press once, twice, it will select the apps that I need to update. And if I go right over here, it will say that the C++ has, has a newer version, which is right over here. And the one that I'm running is a older version. The same with, for example, if I go to OBS, which is one of the apps that I use on any computer at this moment is recording my screen. If I want, I can disable this and it's showing me that it's going to update from 30.1.0 to 30.1.2, which is cool. And if I don't want to update OBS for any reason, I can just right click, disable scanning from for this app, and it will never ask me to update. So I can rescan and it will not show OBS anymore. So by any reason, if we change one of the apps that we want, we can use this option right over here. Now I can easily just enable it. And if I go to rescan, it will show me OBS once again. So this is one of the beautiful things on this app. Now, besides that, let's go up. And before we do an update, I want to show you something which is really, really cool. Now, if I want to install a app, let's say CPU hardware monitor, I also have the CPU-Z already installed. So let's select Crystal Disk Mark. These are two tools that I install on any of my computers and you can search for a lot more. If you want to install Office, LibreOffice, there are at least 
three office versions right over here open office and the other one i don't remember the name so there are a lot of useful apps right over here and besides that there is also a version which is the portable software so if you want to use for example rufus right over here that we used on the last video it's just a matter of pressing a button and boom there we go so in terms of the installation i did select two apps which were crystal disk and cpu hardware monitor and right now if i press perform two updates it will download and install hardware monitor which is already installed and at this moment downloading crystal disk mark and it silently installed crystal disk mark so as you could see i did install these two apps and i didn't need to press a single button with next 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 whatever really really cool it did create the desktop shortcuts right over here but this is optional i can um, automatically disable this and now if i want there we go crystal disk mark ready to be used and i didn't need to do anything just press two buttons and there we go let's delete these and let's go to the options before we do the update on the options if i want uh, i can select the delete desktop shortcuts for apps so those two shortcuts that were created if i want i don't need and if i select right over here one of the things that i want to do is to save so export settings to patch my pc dot ini which is the file that we seen on the folder right over here it will save on that file and that was the reason that i said if you are going to mess up with the configurations make sure that that file goes always with your portable patch my pc updater now let's disable this and leave it as it is as you can see there are a few options right over here we can say auto start updates on open auto close apps before the update disable auto updating on all apps create restore points pre-update so we have a lot of options right over here which are really really cool there's also the uninstaller so i just select uh, geekbench 6 for example and press uninstall and it will remove it and here it shows the apps that we have installed but if i press show all it will show all the apps of the system so i can hide it right now and i will have access to that as well and one really cool thing is the scheduler so i can just leave the app to do once every five days uh, once every day once every two weeks so we can do a lot right over here and we can also fine tune right over here task visibility is something that i love because i don't want to be interrupted with the app installation with the update so i can just say silent and it will do everything silent so a lot of options that we can use right over here and finally the about section now getting back to the apps if i run scan installed apps it will say okay robert you have one two three four five actually it will say right over here uh, five apps so let's select once twice and it will select five apps to install which are these right over here which if we want if we go to the options color for updated apps we can change the color for the updated outdated for the background app so there are a lot of options that you will love to use on the patch my pc so we have five apps to install but i will disable c plus plus because it will probably ask to uh, restart my computer and i also want to disable obs because i'm recording with obs at this moment and i don't want to update it so right now i've got three apps to update cpu z google chrome and vlc mini player so at this moment just select perform three updates and it will download cpu-z it will silently install cpu-z which is already done and now start with the next one now depending on the size of the uh, software that we are updating and installing and depending on our network it will take more time or less time at this moment i'm with wi-fi so it will take a bit longer and bam just like that we have everything updated in this particular case only three apps it did create another shortcut right over here for vlc let's delete that now rescan installed apps and we have everything updated with the exception of obs and microsoft visual c plus plus which were the ones that we did not want to update have in mind that it will update as well other apps that we have on our system and that are not listed right over here but if we take a look at the tools for example almost everyone will use 7-zip or similar there is WinHard as well the only issue that i see right over here is the uh, search which is not that efficient in my opinion of course but let me know down below in the comment section and also on older versions of patch my pc updater the apps were categorized by 
categories which we could see productivity like office suits and things like that pdf and so on and so forth and at this moment everything is right over here so this was one of the updates that i did not like that much i would prefer by categories but okay all of them are right over here but for example google chrome firefox probably almost all i don't want to assume anything but i would say that most of us will install any other browser besides edge and we don't need to go in search for it we just need to select firefox right over here we have opera we have a lot of browsers besides the apps that we can find right over here and that is it you just need to go download it and use it for yourself you will see that it's amazing and it will save you a lot of hours hopefully the video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one